So Marianne w- uh, Williamson has, has she officially declared yeah. that she's, she did officially declare, um, has declared that she's going to be running in the presidential primary. Um, they were asked uh, at the White House if people were upset. I know this is sort of a dumb question to me, but... Um, they don't care. They don't care. They asked uh, the, the White House, were you upset that Marianne Williamson announced before Joe Biden announced, which um, I don't think this is the, the, the best use of the, the White House's, uh, um, you know, cachet at the, at the time. But uh, here, is, here is their response. Is the president uh, annoyed, frustrated uh, with Marianne Williamson for jumping in the race ahead of him? Did he want a clear field to run uh, against the Republican nominee in 2024? Just not tracking that. I mean, if I had a, a uh, what is it called, a little a little globe here, crystal wall, crystal wall uh-huh. I can tell you, but I, I imagine eight ball, whatever, if I could feel her aura, I, I just, I just don't have anything, to, I just don't have anything to share on that. He shared something. Jeez, who's, I, oh, gosh, you guys are making me laugh now. Yeah, smug and needless. I mean, completely needless. I mean, I, I, I believe that they're probably not tracking it. Uh, I mean, I think like there's no reason why, you know. The, I mean, she had a bit set up, so they're tracking it enough. Do you like, think she did though? I feel that seems. She like, said globe instead of crystal ball. So. Yeah, I know, but like I don't know. Maybe she was just riffing, but. I think she was just riffing, and I think it was stupid. There's no point in alienating anybody at this point. Just say no. I mean, what's uh, Marion Williamson also knows she's not going to win the presidential primary against Joe Biden. She's running, you know, for her own reasons and so you some lefty or ideas, ideas, ideas that she wants to put out there. Like, I mean, uh, it's just there's no reason to punch down at her, and it's it, it just feels like a smugness in the. Uh, kind of Washington circles that I don't know if it's going to rub a bunch of people the wrong way, but it's going to rub some people the wrong way. It's yes. more indicative of their mindset than anything. And you would think after 2016 that they would have learned about like, and I don't think that uh, Marianne Williamson is going to do nearly as well as uh, Bernie did in 2016, but certainly Bernie did significantly better than any of them thought he would at that time. Uh, here is Marianne Williamson's uh, response to those comments. I love her wall color. I was so sad to see the commentary of the president's press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, about me, about crystal balls, which I've never spoken or written about, and auras, which I've never spoken or written about, and just speaking so derisively and in such mocking terms about someone who is running for president of the United States. And as a woman, and this is the Democratic Party, I have a constitutional right to run, and my candidacy is about substantive issues and policies. I have made it clear in interview after interview that the president is a nice man and that I have no interest in taking personal pot shots. But apparently the White House, or at least as expressed by Corrine, doesn't share my commitment to the high ground. The hypocrisy here is something that all of us can see because the president has said on his first day in office that anyone in his administration who spoke disrespectfully about anyone would be fired on the spot. Now, I'm not hoping that Karine Jean-Pierre loses her job over this, but I do hope that from now on, this low, derisive, this narrative about me just obviously meant to get me out of the conversation I hope that this path is not pursued. It's not good for any of us. It's not good for America. It's not good for the Democratic Party. People are watching. And I hope that everyone who is watching realizes this is not just about me. They're not just telling me to get away, like flicker off like a mosquito. It's about you. It's about anyone who, first of all, I think, what has faith and takes faith seriously? Or is it just about any woman who speaks out of turn? All right, well, uh, uh, wait, I love you, Marianne. It was a little much, but... Stop that kind of... Um, All right, we don't need to play the whole thing, but, yeah. um, <laughs> but I think I don't think it's actually that they're trying to keep her out of the race. I think that they want to make it seem like any uh, challenge to uh, Biden in the primary is going to be a joke. And, and so 
Um, it, it's completely needless. It is a total uh, knee-jerk uh, uh, representation. I mean, um, I don't know who I think would be necessarily at this point who would be a better um, banner person for, you know, left progressive uh, policies uh, that would w be willing to run. Yeah. Um, but, I, I mean, I in general, I mean, I feel like the, I, she wouldn't be my first uh, pick necessarily just from a, a perspective of, like, I would want someone who is like laser focused on a specific sort of like narrow issue sets, because if you're going to be running a message campaign, mm -hmm. I want to know what that message is. I don't want it to be sort of like conflated with, uh, you know, issues of frankly of faith and this and that i don't I'm not, I'm not maligning people who are who are into that kind of thing yeah i mean for instance like bernie would have made would have pivoted to like the working class is getting screwed like eight times they made fun of me however and then just all fat yeah and, and 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 use that opportunity not for uh but but for the issue that you're running on i don't want to watch a video of anybody who is running a messaging campaign that lasts longer than you know two minutes or, or that goes two minutes without bringing that up yeah you know? uh, but i do want to say too like again the, it just felt like punching down she's not going to win she knows she's not going to win people that are supporting her know she's not going to win okay but there is a little bit of value that i think she taps into like we've talked about the woo woo to right wing pipeline and how anti-vaxxers have taken over uh MC russell brand <laughs> Russell Brown, we just spoke about it. Yeah. There is like an impulse from a certain like segment of the population, more spiritual, more. Um, I don't doubt that. A but and she's a representative on the Democratic side for that kind of person. It's marginal. I understand. But the reason that it's marginal is why the White House shouldn't be smug about it. Just say everyone has a right to run. Exactly. Everyone has the opportunity to enter into this race. You want the Democratic Party to be a big tent party. That means as many people as you want into that tent. And if and if someone like Marianne Williams can convince just, a, you know, some thousands of people well, she, I don't think who she'll... are a little uh, who are a little bit more on the granola crunchy kind of like spirituality side which has beauty in it as well then that then fine like to bring them over to to a democratic yeah, I don't message think, I, I mean i don't even know if that she will uh, she will bring any of those people over to be honest with you but regardless that comment was less about getting marianne williamson out of the race and more about uh, uh the the press secretary trying to be one of like the crew yes there. right yeah this is like in the same way that like you know you you know the, i mean it's junior high stuff yeah. honestly yeah that's which and exactly. in, in the main i'm completely in favor of junior high stuff <laughs> it's just that you know make sure that you're not doing it to the detriment of whatever your project is yeah i mean it's a it's a real problem like that even that the question it's punching in the in the yes. journal in the journalist question itself like are you mad that this doesn't like are you mad that basically democracy is happening yeah <laughs> like it, it, it's just a very elitist thing i mean to me personally i'll be interested in marianne williamson when she, she gets a union or a major like movement <laughs> partner behind her um i, I i'm all i think fine like i like good run for ideas i think you know universe healthcare that's great um but like this is really about like you and whose army um in my opinion right. I, I think the idea candidacies like are very limited utility and probably shouldn't take up too much of people's time and to your point sam yeah. like the her tweet was like they might think it's a joke but there's nothing amusing about people going bankrupt for medical debt or children going to bed hungry like hammer that you know in the as in, opposed in the to right, right, yeah, hammer right, that right. don't hammer that it's about you family. want to silence a woman Sorry. right right like it's 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 make it more make it material make it tangible make it something that beyond the personal